Hi, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm going to give a little demonstration of how to hook up one of these uh, battery switches to control either your uh, solar panels, inverters, or battery chargers. And I'm also going to be doing uh, tomorrow a test of my uh, mismatched uh, solar panels. Now I've just gone in my other room and I've cut uh, the wires. I've got two panels going to one inverter and I've got two more panels on a separate wire going into another inverter and I'm going to be able to switch all four panels to one inverter by switching this to one and when I get ready to do the test when they're making good power to see if I can gain more power by taking two of the panels away and dumping two of the other mismatched panels into another inverter I'll merely switch this over to two. Now I have my meter here and I'm going to show you how easy this is to hook one of these up. I have this uh, set on continuity right now so if I touch these together they'll, they'll beep so just to make it easier to understand, I'm going to use the red wire. Now when you use your battery switch, okay, they're all going to say the same thing, common, one, and two. So I'm going to use this red lead as the hot wire, alright? And right now it's going to be set to off. So if I take this black lead and touch the common, it'll buzz. If I touch one, nothing. Two is on. Why is two on? Because I got it on number two. Say the switch is on number two. So common and two will buzz. Now if I put it to all, all right. Again, I got the feed wire. Let's say now two will buzz. One will buzz. Now if I switch this back over to number one, put the common again over here. It'll buzz when I touch it. Number one will buzz, and number two's dead. That's how I'm going to split the panels. I can take two panels in here, and I can throw the power either to inverter number one or inverter number two. And then if you want, you just shut it off. And again, common is hot. That one's dead. That one's dead. And the way I have my battery switch for my solar panels to my FlexMax 80, I have this switch at all times switched to all, and three panels come into the common, and both lugs are hot. So one wire goes to my FlexMax 80, one wire goes to my power jack. That's how I do that. And as the power, as the FlexMax 80 does no longer need the power from the other three panels. They slowly go from this lug that goes to the flex mag, oh, max to this lug which goes to the inverter and the inverter turns itself on and starts producing power. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. That's how you hook up a battery switch and that's how I'm going to base my test tomorrow. Once I start making decent power, I'm going to take switch one which will make all four panels go to the inverter the way they have been hooked up and then to test if I make better power by taking two of the panels and switching them to another inverter because all the panels do not match and on a string inverter if they all do not match the lowest panel dictates the power that you'll make and I want to do this because tomorrow I should get my end phase inverter so I want to do this test before I do anything further with the end phase units so I hope that's easy to understand. That's how you hook up one of these switches. Okay, that's it.